Hey guys, it's me, the Dumb Fanatic, and welcome to week three of the Pokemon Premier League, where we, the Norris Skitty, will face Drew and the New York Marauders. Uh, last week, spoilers by the way, um, we did manage to take a Frio win against Nexus, uh, which puts us 2-0 for the season, and obviously this week, if we are going to win this, we will be 3-0 for the season, and I'm pretty sure that is like my best ever record for the start of a season so we're going to look to keep this going um i am traveling this weekend and the time this uploads i will probably be traveling home uh, as my fam family member is getting married this weekend so i don't have time to wait for the graphic of drew's team uh, versus mine this week so to give you an idea of what we're facing this week we've got his syrian samurott mamoswine glimora Latias, Alolan Ninetales, Registeel, Hisuian Electro, Paldean Taurus, Blaze, Shaman, Beartic, and Dusclops. And he has got the Hisuian Electrode and the Beartic as his Terra Captains. Electrode is Fairy and Ice, Beartic is Ice, Ground, and Electric. Uh, a very quick recap of my draft for those that don't know we've got Latio, Cinderace, Blastoise, Gliscor, Tinkerton, Glarium Ultras, Persimian. Miss Magius, uh, Vileplume and Substriker. Miss Magius being Terra Captain with Ghost and Fairy, Vileplume, Steel Fairy Water and Substriker, Electric Water and Fire. So, unclear if you will be able to see this without a graphic, but my team is very, very weak to Terra Electric, Bertic, and that is a huge issue for me. As well as Terra Ice um, or Terra Fairy Electrode, probably Terra Ice because they both kind of dismantle Gliscor, which is I mean, not great here anyway, because it's an ice team, or a snow team, I should say. Um, but it can kind of deal with Blastoise and Glarian Moltres. It can deal with Tinkerton as well. So, a very scary team for me to face this week. But let's show you the six Pokemon that I decided to bring to face Drew. First Pokemon I'm bringing this week is going to be Cinderace. Um, I've already mentioned that Drew's team is basically a snow team. So a very strong fire type into the snow team makes a lot of sense. He does help to have a Latias, which would resist the fire, but if I decide to click U-turn or Sucker Punch with Libero, they could then become Stab, and that's a whole different story for Latias to try and deal with. Pyro Ball is just strong Stab, and then we finally have the signature move, Court Change, on Cinderace. The reason I have Court Change is because obviously Drew will probably rely on Aurora Veil, or look to get Aurora Veil uh, up this game to help sweep with the Bear Tick. But also he has the Hisuian Samurott, which obviously can set up spikes with Ceaseless Edge pretty freely against the six I bring. Therefore, bringing Court Change is vital because, as you'll see later on uh, looking through the team, I don't have any hazard removal this week, just hazard swapping, I guess. So it's vital that we manage to click that Court Change button if needed. I was considering Choice Scarf for this because it would then outspeed everything on his entire team in, in the snow, including the Bear Tick and also including the Hisuian Electrode. But we decided that Heavy Duty Boots was necessary if I wanted to get that court change off against something to remove the spikes and steal, sorry, steal the spikes and steal the Aurora Veil. Next on the team is gonna be Blastoise. And finally, we are bringing Shell Smash. And not only are we bringing Shell Smash, we're bringing non-stab Shell Smash. Um, we are running the White Herb because keeping some bulk on Blastoise means it will break Drew's team incredibly well. We are running Ice Beam, Aura Sphere, Flash Cannon, and Shell Smash as the moves. Ice Beam, Aura Sphere, and Flash Cannon have almost perfect coverage against Drew's team. The best answer he could bring for me is going to be the Dusclops. That's it, the Dusclops. Um, especially Defensive Registeel dies to two Aura Spheres at plus two, so it's not really a switch into this thing. Plus, it can't really do a lot of damage back to me. It will stop it from setting up the iron defenses etc if that's the set he brings so this thing can apply immediate pressure especially if drew doesn't bring the hisuian electrode because then this thing can click smash on anything he brings that isn't called dust clops um i've got 112 evs in speed which means i'll outspeed uh, i believe jolly Bertic. if not it's definitely advent Bertic in the snow with max speed investment um, we are max special attack to obviously do as much damage as we can and then we've got a bit of investment in bulk just to make it a bit easier to shell smash and live some hits to deal the damage out. But if there is no electrode like I said this Blastoise has got the real potential to just break Drew's team from turn one. The next Pokemon on team this week is a really standard set and probably doesn't need much explanation. 
Bringing Typhoon the Latios again, probably the MVP of the season so far for the Norris Kitty. Um, uh, once again, running the Draco Meteor on Luster Purge combo because it's incredibly dumb. Drew does have a Registeel, which is why obviously we've got the Cinderace and a couple other things on the team, um, which is probably going to be his main way of stopping this. We are Choice Scarf Max Speed. This will let us outspeed the Electrode, plus also the Bear Tick in the Snow. So this thing's going to be a real potent, like, revenge killer, as long as uh, Aurora Veil isn't up. If I've stolen Aurora Veil, then that's going to be incredible. I just kind of click Lust Purge if Registeel dies. And I'm kind of hoping Blastoise or Cinderace can break that thing down. To finish it off, we've got the flip turn to keep momentum with the Scarfer on, obviously, the Scarf on Latios. And finally, we've got Trick as well, just in case I kind of need, like, a last-ditch item switch on Registeel if it gets set up with like iron defense body press etc because it could potentially think that latios is the opportunity to kind of do that setup max special attack just to kind of hit as hard as we can and then the rest in special defense just that little bit of extra special bulk the fourth pokemon this week is going to be tinkerton and slightly different to other weeks again uh, in that i'm actually bringing gigaton hammer to this game main reason being again outside registeel drew doesn't really have a great answer to gigaton hammer um he has got obviously Mammy Swine, the Alolan Ninetales, and the Bear Tick, which are all weak to it, and it's incredibly strong stab. Like, Registeel could come in on this thing, but that's why I'm running the Encore in case he does then decide to set up on this, whether it's Stealth Rock, whether it's Thunder Wave he wants to click, whether it's Body Press or whatever, I can kind of Encore and play around whatever move I lock him into. We've then got Knock Off and Play Rough just kind of for a bit of utility. Um, because Steel is so free, we did decide to kind of put a bit of investment in attack, but not a lot, just to make the Gigaton Hammers hit a bit harder. Also, we're running a lot of physical defense this week, because it, it's kind of, because I've forfeited Blastoise as an offensive mon this week, I kind of struggle against the Hisuian Samurott a little bit. So, this set is here to take two Aqua Cutters from an offensive uh, Hisuian Samurott, and the Citrus Berry could help me live potentially free. Um, not that I'd expect Drew to stay in, because Player F will do a lot in return, it should do like 70%, which will then put it in revenge range for pretty much anything else on the team. So that's Tinkerton for this week, a bit different to the previous few weeks. The next member on the team this week is going to be a debut for King Julian for Simeon. Maybe not the set most people would sort of expect Persimian to be, and speaking to Drew after the game, not the set he thought it would be either. Um, we've already mentioned that Drew has got a lot of ice types. So therefore, fighting is pretty strong into his team. He does obviously have the Nine Tails, which is also Fairy. He has Latias. He has got the... I've forgotten the ghost name. Dusclops as well. So it's not quite as free as you might think. However, we are running Fizz Death because this is the best thing I have for Bear Tick. I can live a plus two Icicle Crash or plus two five hit Icicle Spear in the snow. Not that the snow boosts the damage, but in the snow. Uh, with max defense because Persimian is really bulky. It's got 100 HP, 19 defense, 16 special defense is a bit lackluster, but we don't really need the special defense in this game because the things that hit specially hard, I wouldn't want to stay in on anyway. For example, the Nine Tails or the Latias. So physically defensive, four move, four attacking move because I was debating Assault Vest. We are running Drain Punch, obviously for a bit of longevity, a U-turn for momentum, knock off just to knock off items, and an Earthquake for if the, uh, the Bear Tick does decide to hit the Terra Electric button. It's also kind of something for Registeel, but if there are obviously lots of Iron Defenses, then that could become an issue for this, because Drain Punches are probably do next to nothing. So Persimian is our answer, in air quotes, to a Bear Tick for this week, which otherwise kind of ruins my team. The final Pokemon on the team this week is going to be Zeb Striker back again after a solid outing in week two where it was robbed of an endgame sweep. But we digress, we move on. Zeb Striker has another shot at it this week. The main role for Zeb Striker is to check the Hisuian Electrode, which has got a very good matchup into the five Pokemon that I've got so far if it decides to Terra Ice or Terra Fairy. Um, we are running Sap Sipper because I think if I get a, uh, an attack boost on this thing, it's going to become very threatening to his team. But I could have also gone for the Lightning Rod to bluff a really strong overheat, or Motor Drive to get a speed boost there and be immune to the Electric Stab. 
That way, when I terrify her, I'm also resistant to ice and fairy and uh, the grass moves. Um, but I decided on Sap Sipper and Terrify, which does leave me a bit weak to the electric moves. But I think with Tinkerton and the Latios, if he's some kind of choice set, I should be able to play around that. But we are the Assault Vest just to kind of take those hits a little bit better. And we've otherwise got the same EVs and same moves as last game. Flame Charge, I know it's not the strongest move, but the speed boost could be very nice in this situation where he's got a very fast endgame sweeping option. So if I can keep the speed in check, then I, that might give me an out that I, I might need at some point. A fast Volt Switch or something like that, for example. So that's the six for the game. Let's go and watch the battle and see how it goes. Before we do that though guys, make sure you do click the subscribe button below as about 75% of you roughly aren't subscribed to the channel. So it would warm my heart and make me feel all fuzzy inside if you did click that button if you enjoyed the video. Anyway, on to the battle. Okay everyone, we're here for week three of the Pokemon Premier League against Drew and the New York Marauders. Uh, let's do a search because I know he's searching already. Uh, let's get the... Oh, we're having the Nimona theme, apparently. Uh, I don't know how that goes, but that's what we're having. Um, I was writing the team down. No Electrode. That was genuinely incredible. Uh, I think Blastoise has an incredible time here now. Incredible time. I don't think it has a bad lead, either. So if there was no Electrode, which is what I was fearing, then... I was going to always lead Blastoise, Shell Smash, if he wants to set up spikes on me that's fine, do I want to lock in anything else, do I think any different, I think Blastoise is here to break so that's what we're going to do, uh, what else have I got on Tinkerton, I was writing out down my Mons, let me write his down so he's got Memo, A9, Hammerot, Latias, Registeel, Bearetic. So Bearetic was the threat that we always identified in prep. So, fingers crossed, we are prepared for it, how we think we should be. And by prepared for Bearetic, I mean I'm not at all, because there is, like, nothing that I can <laughs> that I have that can come into the Bearetic. Um, other than Tinkerton, maybe. So he leads Mamo. This is great. So if he wants to set up his hazards, I'm all for it. Because I then court change. I'm clicking Shell Smash. So I didn't bring Surf, and looking at his team, I'm kind of glad that I didn't. Because, I mean, I do so much damage to. I've got Ice Beam, Aura Sphere, Flash Cannon. I don't know what I'll switch into here, but I'll take the draws, excellent, so I get the Shell Smash off. I don't think he's got anything on his team that can one-shot me. He goes Latias, awesome. Does he go Thunder Wave here? We Shell Smash turn one. If I can get Latias gone, that's gonna be incredible. Uh, I am Modest Max Special Attack. I don't think there's world where this kills. So if I go in, check my counts. For some reason it's there you go. So, Latias. Is he he's not the weakness. He's not uh what's his face? The one where it copies. So Ice Beam. If it's max HP, he does 70 to 83. If he is not invested at all, it can kill, but it's got a very low chance. So I'm just gonna put more ice beam and just do damage. Like I don't need to think. If he wants to go Registeel, that's fine. Probably could have shell smashed again actually. This could have been a throw. He might he might T wave me. Um, should I have shell smashed again? I don't know if I want to, because if this is like specs with Draco or something, then I don't want to take that much damage. Um, he's really thinking now. Like the turn I like we knew in prep that if he didn't bring the electrode, then this thing would go crazy against him. Oh. He's physically offensive? Latty? Okay. Um, I'll click Ice Beam again. Uh, I don't know if he if he predicts this, that's fine. But I think he has to let it go. So Blastoise potentially claiming a kill? It's breaking though. This is what Blastoise needed to do. Um, 
Fantastic. Good down. Awesome. Um, something has to come in and take a hit. Like, something has to come in and take a hit. I think I speed crept, scarfed anything, I think. So if he goes bear tick, not in the snow. Awesome. Right, Reggie Steel. What are you going to do to me, bro? I put Aura Sphere. If I break this thing, then incredible. Okay, so two hit KO. He clicks Thunder Wave. Which, I could have probably predicted there, but uh, that's fine. And he's leftovers. So probably not rest. Is he going to get his rocks up? That could be fine. A little bit of Aura Sphere again. I don't need Blastoise for anything. It was here to break. It's breaking things up. <laughs> um, I still don't know if I'm really in range of like anything killing me. Because I have got some bulk in this. Like, if he could Terra Bear Tick, yeah. Uh, but he hasn't got a great switch into Aura Sphere now. Actually, A9 doesn't appreciate it. Mammy's weak to it. His and Samurott's weak to it. Bear Tick's weak to it. So actually, like, Aura Sphere is incredibly free right now. Um, I'll outspeed this thing still, even though I'm paralysed. So it depends if he wants to let Ridge Steel go down. Um, turn 1 Blastoise, just killing things. Oh god, I get the full power, of course. Is he going to set up rocks? He clicks Earthquake. That does, that's not going to do a lot. That does, that does nothing. I could click. I could click. Shell Smash again. But I don't know. Why is it also, what is it with people bringing in Thunder Wave against me? Like, ruining my life. Okay, we, we connect. That's good. Last two is going on a tear. Two and no already. Um, Registeel's down, which is really nice for Latin now. And Latin's down. Do you click freeze dry here? I'm clicking flash cannon, I'm not thinking. He clicks freeze dry. Does it kill? It does. Okay. That's fine. Um, Blastoise broke things uh, incredibly well. And he doesn't have a switch into Cinderace. He just doesn't. Um, we've got Bear Tick, Samurott, A9, Mamo. So I go into this thing. I click U-turn, because there's no way he stays in. Uh, he's switching his Hisuian Samurott every day of the week. Not that I'm sure I have a lot for it either. But I have a Zeb Striker, so. Do I Pyro Ball? What's he got left? Bear Tick? Zeb Striker's not as important now. Um, this thing dies to a Pyro Ball with his Scarf using to freeze dry, so that doesn't work for him. So I think I click U turn. Like, he can't stay in. If he stays in, then I've choked big time. But he can't. Like,. My Cinderace actually goes crazy now. Um, like, big time crazy. Because he hasn't got... I mean, even if Bear Tick Terrors, like, it's going to be electric. It's going to be Terror Electric. I don't know if he has to Terror now or not. I should have probably just clicked Pyro Ball because it's free against his team. Like, Samurott's not going to appreciate that. He withdraws all those, so that's fine. Please go into Samurott. He goes Mamo. Okay. He goes Mamo. So how much is U-Turn going to do to Mamo? Two, eight, four. How fast am I on my Tink? Not fast enough to outspeed this if it's max speed. So how much did Cinderace just do? Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so I could go into Latios and click flip turn. Uh, how much did U turn just do? This thing's going to be quite bulky. We go into this thing, we click flip turn. If he stays in, then. Well, I don't know. He could be, he's going to be thick fat actually, isn't he? So I click flip turn. I think I go for Simeon. Or Tink. Or I go, he's not going to click a ground move. So I flip turn. 
I'd probably be in a bit of a wuss there. Draco could have probably killed him. Um, but the end game for this thing is looking good. Is EQ3 here for him? Probably. How much? Like, you've got to be max HP, U turn. Are you, like, slightly defensive? Like, I think you're defensive. U turn, like, did a lot. Earthquake will kill Cinderace. How much does it do to King Julian? Not too much. Um, he clicked Ice Core Crash, so I could have gone into the what's his face, but I didn't. Um, I need to keep this thing healthy. I need to try and keep this thing healthy. Now he's got his Syrian Samurai, he's got this thing. What's he got? What can he do? Drain Punch is pretty free. Because I think if he goes into A9, he goes... I go hard Cinderace. Well, if he gets Veil up, that's fine. But... Getting Mamo worn down is nice. I just, I just need health on this for Bear Tick. That's literally it. Although I need, I need to keep Latio because Latio is my Latio. Latios is my outspeeds Bear Tick in the snow. I don't think you bring Jolly. I don't think you bring Jolly. Then the power on my Blastoise sucked. It really did. Um, good size could crash if he flinches me. That's going to be terrible. Drain Punch again. Um, he had to play for the flinch and he got the flinch. Drain Punch probably won't kill this thing. But I, I could be choking here because I think King Julian was the... This was my check for Bear Tick. And he's going to get the snow up again because Nine Tails is going to come in. The draws. Okay. So I'm going to get a bit of health back. It is nine tails. The snow's not going to go up. I'm going to get a bit of health back. That does good damage, to be fair. That does some good damage. Um, he could get Veil up still. No, he can't. The snow stopped. So, he might pull the double into Samurai. He might pull the double into Samurai. I'm going into Cinderace. Tinkatan is here now for the... Probably should have gone Tink here, actually. Because, actually, once Mamo's gone, Tink does really well. Like, really well. Uh, other than against Bear Tick, potentially. But he's got no snow. Cinderace, going to Cinderace now could have been a bit of a throw, because Cinderace does incredibly well against the rest of his team. He's... Is he scarfed on the... He can't be scarfed on the Mamo. He took too little damage from Cinderace. So I wonder if he's now in thick fat range. Let's have a look. Cinderace, Mamoswine, 252, thick fat. If he's max defense, Pyroball doesn't kill. Because I haven't got any hazards. He draws. Does he go Samurai? Samurai the Unrival. Nice. Good play, good play. Um, now, is he going to be scarfed on it? That's the question. So if you're scarfed, you're going to kill me. Um, Cinderace is still important. Tink, I think, is my play. Scout for Scarf. Because if he's not scarfed, he might switch. He might switch. And I did think in my head that this could be his play. That he does. That he doubles into the Samurai. So I could have stayed in and clicked Drain Punch again, but it's too much of a risk. Although I should have known, because he could have clicked Moonblast quite free there. Probably, yeah, I shouldn't have gone into Cinderace. I should have gone into Tinkerton really. Tinkerton's always a free switch into the Ninetales. 
that was my fault. I'm fumbling it now. I had such a good start with the Blastoise. And I'm trying my best to throw my game now. Let's see if he switches out first. Uh, I switch out first, sorry. Yes, please. Ooh, okay. Am I going to outspeed this thing? Or do I just click play rough? I think I click play rough. I like, I'm quite physically defensive. We live. Don't miss the play rough, please. Do not miss play rough. I swear to God, do not miss the play rough. Okay, we hit the play rough. That's nice. I click Gigaton. Like, this thing gets Sucker Punch, which is good against Latte. So this is going to be close. He clicks Ceases Edge. Does that kill? It does. Okay. It does plus two Sucker Punch. Kill. I'll go Cinderace here, I think. Because I don't think Aqua Jet will kill. I don't think Sucker will kill. Yak Jets. Bloody hell. Okay, right, that thing was scary. Cinderace gets its first kill for the season, though, I think. Um, the fact we lived that's huge. Uh, that thing was terrifying. So Tink's gone. Uh, Hammerot is 1 and 1. Cinderace is 1 and 1. I'm trying my best to throw this game. I really am trying my best to throw this game. We go this thing. Don't go Mamo. Please don't go Mamo. Although, to be fair, if he goes Mamo now... I'm Sapsipper on this as well. I wish I was, um, what's its face? I wish oh, it wasn't, is what I'm trying to say. It is nine tails, okay. We terrifier. We get some damage on this. We get some damage on. Because I could be overheat here. He has to fear overheat, surely. He clicks Veil. I do have Court Change on Cinderace. <laughs> Got the Sucker Punch. That's the last ditch attempt. Luster Purge is free. So all I have to do is come in and click Luster Purge. Terrifier, I'm AV. Yes, Mamo is probably going to resist everything I have, but weakening the Mamo is big for me. Um, I do think I'm choking this game big time. That kills. It's a crit. Oh my god, said Striker, you goat of a mon. Uh, I'm sorry, Drew, because that probably matters quite a lot. Um, I think I outspeed Bear Tick now as well. So do I predict the Terra Electric and click High Horsepower? Do I allow it to happen? I still have Persimian. So what I do is, after this, I go... Does he go Vertic? Does he go... He's really thinking about this. The Terrifiers screwed him up a big time. That 
crit really mad because it prevented Veil. Like, it's ridiculously huge, that crit. Like, potentially that's rewarded me for my bad plays. So he's gone, he's gone bear tick. I took... I took... Expert Belt off the thing put AV on because AV really helped with... Um, AV really helped with... Electrode. Don't go Electric. Go Terra Electric. Terra Electric is too good here. You are Terra Electric. So we've got the High Horsepower play. High Horsepower play right. I don't know if the Terra means he loses his defense. You don't miss. That's nice. That's good damage. He clicks Earthquake. I don't care if that kills me. Because I now go for Simeon. Take any hit unless the ice cool crash benches me. We need to keep Lati. I mean, I probably should have just gone Latios there actually and just click double Lost of Purge. That probably was a pro again. But we go King Julian. Oh, yeah, because there's spikes as well. We click Earthquake. Yeah, I should have just gone in and clicked Lost of Purge on Latios. He ice cool spears. He should live. Even if he hits five. No dice team. Okay, we live. We live unless he crits. He crits. <laughs> okay, that's probably fair. Um That crit was uh, completely fair. Now we see if he's jolly. If he's jolly. I don't think Jolly outspeeds Latios. We click Lost of Purge, we don't think. Yeah, okay, I should have done this the first time. Because there's no way Ice Shard kills Latios. Like, even Adamant, 252. Ah, uh, that's in the race. Latios. Adamant 252, choice band. That is a roll to kill me. Great. Um, <laughs> but I don't think he is. He has HP investment. We lost the purge. This is where we find out he's AV or something. Oh, did I choke this game? Did I choke the 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 game? If he's max HP, lost the purge. Lost the purge doesn't kill. I have Sucker Punch. And it could come down to the Sucker Punch mind games. But if he is choice, then I just click Sucker Punch anyway. Click my Shard. We live. Lost the Purge. Does it kill? It does. Excellent. Come on. That was a very quick paced game compared to... Uh, the others. <laughs> so, yeah, Vertic got two uh, and died. It's a 2 0 win, which is nice. Uh, Zabstriker fell just short again, but at the same time, incredible work from that thing. Uh, what else got a kill on his side? Ramoswine, did Ramoswine get a kill? I've lost count, but sorry if that wasn't very informative of a game, guys, but it was very quick paced. Um, it was a hell of a ride because I was cacking myself for this matchup um, because it really wasn't that good for me. That bear tick went in, and the fact I, th I the fact I crit that nine tails I think is what won me the game really because otherwise he'd had fail up. I did have the court change, um, but there wouldn't have been a lot for me to court change on other than the nine tails itself. So that was huge actually, because then I wouldn't have been able to wrench Kalu with Scarf Lay. So the fact that I crit that Nine Tails was enormous. So I am sorry for that, Drew, because I think you would have won that if I didn't crit you there. So it's the game we play. We will take the win because that puts us 3-0 for the season, which is quite frankly ridiculous because I don't think anyone thought that of me. I don't think I ever thought that of me. And a lot of you know, people thought my team was pretty good, but not up there. So I'm, I'm starting to think that actually my team is is 
actually really good. And it definitely is one of the best teams I've drafted. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, I don't know who I'm playing next week, but I'll mention it at some point in the intro, I'm sure. So, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you for week four next week. Bye.